welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. This is a 10 month review on my Louis Vuitton Odium MM. Ladies, if you think that's something you'd be interested in, then you know what to do. Keep on watching. I am so happy to be back. I know I've been MIA. My day job has been keeping me busy. I wanted to come back with a review. Ladies, if you are a long time viewer of my channel, you know I got this bag around Christmas time 2019. Yes. And so it came at a really odd time right when the pandemic was kicking off. And so I think that's why a lot of people didn't really gravitate to this bag. But let me tell you, this bag is really good. And I've had it for approximately 10 months, I believe. So let's get started. First thing about this bag that I love is the black. In the front, on the corners, I just love that. This is a great handheld bag. Ladies, this is a really great bag, and they even have it in the Damier Abin right now. So, this is the MM size, and I know the price has gone up, but this is a really nice bag. So, let's go through the details of this bag. The first thing I love about the bag is the tag, of course, of course. The LV uh, tag, you can take this off. It is so cute. And then what I love is this really great big pocket that goes the length of the bag. I can hold my cell phone in the front. I can hold my sunglasses or anything else my husband wants me to carry for him. I can put it right here. So that is a plus. This is the back of the bag. And I just love it. This is the front of the bag. When you go inside the bag, I like the fact that you have two really nice uh, zippers. Great opening. All right, and it is a dark inside. All right, so I have it a little stuffed. This is how it looks stuffed. It actually can fit a lot of things in here. I have my hand sanitizer. And my light on the side. Let's open it up. All right, here's my little light. Got this little light off of Amazon. All right, so it helps me to see in my bag. So you can see all this stuff can fit in this bag. All right, hopefully you can see that. All right, let's look inside my bag. This is the interior of the bag. And if you can see, let me step back. There's a lot of stuff in this bag. All right, what do I have in the bag? I have my MM agenda. I have a little cosmetic size bag that I got off Amazon. And it has some snacks in here. Some kind bars and that kind yeah. of thing. What else is in this bag? I have my wallet, the Recta Versa. I have my four um key um holder what else what else do i have <laughs> i have a chanel mirror and that is it all right let me show you how it looks inside empty it's just one big hole in there all right i think this is a great size bag the mm and i wanted the mm because it could hold my agenda and i tend to walk around with my agenda another cool thing about this bag is that it has a adjustable and detachable um, strap. All right, ladies, so this is a very nice feature. And you can always put another strap on this bag. Now, ladies, if I wanted to be different, I could put this little uh, small strap on it. I actually put this little strap on my Neo No Way, and it's from Amazon. And I could wear it like this and just have it as a short um, bag, if that's what you like. The really nice thing with the Odium is that it comes with its own adjustable strap, and there's seven different holes to help you adjust the bag to your height, 
which is really, really nice. Ladies, with the strap that Louis Vuitton gives you, this is a nice shoulder bag. And it falls all the way down to my hips and I'm 5'9", and I will include a picture so you can see. It is really a nice bag. So if you don't like it long, you could always adjust it shorter. And ladies, on the shorter length, it fits me right about here above my hips, which is not a bad um, placement for it to hang. So if you want it shorter, you could always get a shorter strap. And with this particular strap, you have about two different levels. Um, I'm 5'9", if I didn't say that already. So this bag, I love this bag. Um, I use it all the time for date night and I wore it um, today for my date night. So ladies, if I could say a con of the bag, maybe it doesn't have any feet, but ladies, when I wore it to the restaurant, all I did was put it in the chair next to me, no problem. Um, it could also fit on the behind my chair in the restaurant. So, and I also have a bag um, holder. So to me, it wasn't really that much of a con. This bag is underrated, but it is a great bang for your money. And I know the price has gone up. It is now 2000, I believe. Please double check me, um, check on the website. And this is the MM. You could also get it in the treated Vachetta or you could get it in the Damir Ibina. Ladies, before you go, I need you to do me a favor. Hit that uh, thumbs up button. You watch, you're watching my video, but you're not giving me a thumbs up. So I really need your help, ladies, for my channel. So just hit that like button if you like this video. All right, so this is a very nice bag. Ladies, if you're tall like me, I would suggest that you get the MM because when I tried on the PM, it was a little small for my body frame. And so the MM was a little larger. Plus, ladies, it can even hold my um, agenda. So this is a win-win. Well, ladies, that's it for me. I hope you enjoy my little review on my Odium MM. Because of the size and the price, I really think that this is a really good bag. You're getting a lot of bang for your buck. And I'm cons I was considering the Passy. I'm still thinking about the Passy, but the Passy is much smaller. It costs the same. And um, the Passy has the chain um, shoulder strap, and this has the leather strap. So ladies, if you're a shoulder bag girl, you might like this Odium. Well, ladies, that's it for me. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Um, like I always say, don't forget to enjoy life's sweetest things. And ladies, sometimes it's a little bit of luxury. Until next time, bye.